minister to you. The Lord clearly spoke to me and I know that this word was not just for me, but I know that it's going to minister to you. I told you guys that every week I always ask God, God, what is it that you want me to say to your children? I don't want to just say something that sounds good. You know, I don't want to just give a popular word, a hype word. I don't want to follow the trends, but God, what is it that you want to say to your children? What What's on your heart? What's your burden? And the Lord began to minister to me about value. Tonight, we're going to talk about value, value, value. And I want to prophesy to you that your value has just gone up. Your value has just gone up. Just go ahead and speak over your life tonight. Type it in the comments. My value has just gone up or went up, whatever the proper language is for that. My value has just went up. My value has just shot up. My value has just went up. Uh, my value has just went up. Why is that? Because my mindset about who I am has changed. God has been just dealing with me as it relates to being a good steward over Ryan. Hey, pretty girl. Steward over who he has called me to be. Being a good steward, not just over, uh, what's up, my girl, not just over uh, being a good steward over money. You know, it's not just important to be just a good steward. over ourselves that 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 we that we really steward our lives in a way that it brings God much glory when we devalue ourselves our others to devalue who we are it brings no glory to God where are you going Siobhan just stay with me just stay with me just know this your value has just gone up we live in the social media age, the social media era, where it's so easy if we're not competition and you will allow what you see people posting on Facebook, on Instagram, the TikToks, the, the pictures, the all the things that we see by way of technology, we will allow that to mean more to will allow that to be our driving force. We will allow that to be our measuring rod to if we're successful, to, to if we, you know, if we are doing it or not, you know, if we are amongst the who's who's, we are, we're driven by the likes. Hey, Steph, we're driven by the comments. We're, we're driven and we're moved by the validation of man. We, 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 we seek approval and affirmation from man. And I want you all to know that there is no amount of value that man can put on us. Our value comes from God. Are you all listening to me? Your value cannot be on how much money you, you make. Your value, hey, what's up? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> your value cannot be based on your achievements. Your value cannot be based on how many calls you get to come and preach or how many opportunities you get to go and, 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 and be on a major platform. How many people post your picture? How many people say you look good? How many people want to buy into your product? That is not where your value comes from from. And as long as you seek to be affirmed by man, you're going to always be searching. And that puts you in a place where you'll just ex accept anything. So you, you, you'll be good with just getting crumbs. You deserve more than crumbs. Do you all hear me? See, when you're still thirsty for man to validate you and for man to call your name and for man to open a door and for them to put you on the docket and for them to open up an opportunity for you, then you take anything that comes at you. This past weekend was filled with, you know, good preaching. It's Easter weekend. This is the, this is the time for, for preachers everywhere. 
and I receive several invitations. We want you to be on the on the uh, 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 on the stage to preach the seven last words. We want you to preach seven last words. And I mean people, you know, that have nice opera, nice platforms. You know, it would be it, 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 it would. And that would be, you know, consider, oh, she, that's, that's a good door. That's a, that's a good opportunity. And when I was asked, you know, we want you to be one of the seven last speakers. I immediately, immediately said, no, thank you. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, thank you. You, you don't want, you don't want to come preach for so-and-so. You don't want to be a part of one of these uh, preachers with all these other programs. You don't want to be part of this. No, I don't, I don't do that. Well, what you mean you don't do it? I'm not going to be effective. That, that I'm going to go up there and y'all want me to preach for 15 minutes. And that means I got to operate in an element and operate in a vein that I'm not called to operate in. And so because I value what God has placed on my life, I don't allow the, the desire and the amb ambition to be valued by man to put me on a platform or on a stage where God cannot be glorified. So I'm not jumping up and down at, oh my God, he called me to come preach. Oh my God. No, it's no thank you. That's, that's just not what I do. That's not, that's not what I do. You don't want to be a part of, the, you know, you don't want to come and be a part of this with me and my girls. You don't want to open, come to this opportunity. You don't want this. You don't want the, no. I don't want anything that is going to decrease my value when it comes to what I'm called to do. And the reason why many of us cannot be effective is because we don't understand our value. And it's because we are not confident in who we are in God. Come on, but declare over your life tonight, my value just went up. If I never get a call by the who's who, I understand who I am. If I never get invited to the table with amongst the greats, I am good. Why? Because God knows my name. Don't be so driven to receive value. From people who were never authorized or never qualified to give you. age we live in this word goes against uh, uh, uh you know what, what everybody is doing we we want value from man so that's why we 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 go and we we market that's why you know we rub shoulders that's why you know we we try to be sure we're where the people are to move and shake why because we find value in things we find value in possession we find value in platform we find value in performing and God is saying I'm the one that has given you value your DNA is in me your identity comes from me and the quicker you get that is the quicker you will understand who you are and when you begin to walk in who you are confidently guess what people will have no other choice than to value who you are are you all hearing me the lord ministered to me he said your, your value has just went up you finally get it you finally understand who you are you, you, you're not just casting your pearls before a swine you're very careful with where you lend your voice you're very careful with where you lend your presence. You're very careful with where you lend your likes. I'm talking to somebody. You're very careful of where you show your face. Them. Why? Because you know your value. You're very, you're very careful of who you allow to use your name. You don't just cast out wisdom just to be casting out. Huh? Thank you for the C. Thank you for the C. My God, thank you. And listen, just this quick, the Lord said to me, he said, and don't be surprised when people start sowing into you thousands of dollars. Don't act like that's not what you're supposed to get. You work for me. You work for me.
So don't you dare act, oh, oh my God, ah, oh, no, 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 no. Your value just went up. When you understand who you are, for the C. I receive it. Let's go. Luke. Luke. Some of y'all got to change your mindset. You waiting for a phone call. You waiting for them to give you the, the number that they want to give you to pay. To make room for you. They got to call you back to see if they can squeeze you in. The devil is a lie. Your value just went up. You've been validated and affirmed from your father. You never, if you never get the call from them, you better know who you are in God. Stop freezing, computer. I got a word tonight. Glory to God. Let me try to put this. Hold on, y'all. Let me try to put this uh, charger in here and see what happens. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. See what happens. I got some type of adapter that can help with static. I'm sorry, IG. We got to get this Facebook right. Luke, the fourth chapter. All right. Luke, the fourth chapter, my value just went up. My value just went up. Okay, let's start at verse one. Verse one, verse one, my value just went up. No, 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 I don't just accept anything. I don't just, you know, I ain't thirsty for just any kind of man. Yeah, I'm single, but I ain't desperate. Huh? Yeah, I'm lonely, but I'm not gonna co uh, uh, compromise for companionship. I don't hear nobody. Yeah, I, I need a job. I'm not going to just settle for just you giving me minimum wage. Oh, no, no, no. What's on me costs too much. What I got in me, I labored for this. This idea, you're not going to just pay me some little amount of money for what's on the inside of me, for you to make money off of me. Oh, no, no. I value myself more than that. No, 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 no. Don't squeeze me in. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going up there with seven people to preach. I'm not. I got too much to say to have me preach for, with seven people for me to say something in 15 minutes. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Luke, the fourth chapter, Luke, the fourth chapter, verse one. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost. He returned from Jordan and here it is. He was led by the spirit into the wilderness he's led by the spirit of god he's led by his the, the other part of who he is right god the father god the son god the spirit the spirit now is leading him to go into a wilderness because now he's about to be tested he's always god is always doing to him what he requires of us he'll never require of us what he didn't require of his own son so he's carrying his son through more testing because his son is being qualified to go to another level. Many of you, you're going to be tested in these areas to see if you qualify for the greater door. To see if you really understand who you're called to work for. Are you called to work for man or are you called to work for God? Are you so hungry for opportunity that it doesn't matter if it's a God opportunity or are you just moved by something that's just good? Are you more focused on people knowing your name or his name? You're going to be tested. You're going to be tested. And it's going to show where your value really is. Here it is. Luke, the fourth chapter, verse one. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan, led by the Spirit to the wilderness, being 40 days tempted, 40 days tested of the devil, and in those days he didn't eat anything, so he's hungry. And when they were ended, he was still hungry. And now the devil comes to him and says to him, if you be the Son of God, are y'all with me? If you haven't shared this word yet, go ahead and share it real quick. If thou be the son of God, he says, go ahead and command this stone and command it now to be turned into bread. And Jesus's response was to him immediately. It is written. 
that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Here, the enemy is trying to test Jesus and make him place his value on performance. Are you all following me? If you look at verse one, all the way down to verse three, he wanted Jesus to place his value based on performance. Just like many of us, we place our value on our performance and not on his grace, not on his power. We don't perform good. We don't feel worthy. We don't perform good. We don't feel qualified. We don't perform good. We don't feel like we deserve value. We don't perform good. We go into depression. He wanted Jesus to place his value on performance. And Jesus understood who he was in God immediately. Get away from me with that. You ain't going to test me by trying to get me to perform because you think my value is placed on performance. Man shouldn't live by bread alone. My value comes from the word that proceeds out of my daddy's mouth. I'm preaching good. Make sure, number one, that your value, type it in there. Make sure that your value is not based off of your performance. You don't put no trust in yourself. This will fail you. There are going to be times where you won't be able to perform. There are going to be times where you won't have the ability to perform. You may not have the strength to perform. You may not have the resources to perform. Are you going to be darn trotting? Are you going to feel like, oh, I'm not worthy. God is not, I'm not worthy of his love. I'm not worthy of his favor. Are y'all talking to me? My value ain't based on performance. My value is based on who he is. Hallelujah. All right, let's go. Let's go. So you got verse one through three. Here, the enemy is trying to get the son of God to base his value on performance. This word is good. Your value just went up. Know when to sow. Verse five, and the devil taking him up into an high mountain. Huh? He showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, all this power will I give you. For that is delivered unto me and to just worship me. All shall be thine. I see the seed coming in. The cash out. Somebody said cash out, please. Lady Siobhan. Verse five through seven. The enemy is trying to use what? The enemy now is trying to base value based on possessions, based on things. Some of you all don't feel worthy because you don't have the things. You base your value on the type of car you drive. You base your value on the type of bag you carry. You base your value on the type of shoes you wear. Thank you, husband, for the C. I love you, baby. You ba ba uh, base your value on the neighborhood you live in. You base your value on the numbers you have in your church church. You base your value on the number of followers you have in your social media. Things, things, things. I received the seed, Myra. You base your value off of possessions. So he couldn't get him to base his value off of performance. So now what I'm going to do is get you to base your value on things. I'm going to give you stuff. And that's where some of us have messed up because. Things we're driven by an image. We're driven by having a certain look. You don't know who you are. You don't know whose you belong to. 
Your value is based on what you carry on your shoulder. He's telling him, I will give you all of this if you just worship me. And Jesus immediately responds and says, get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thy serve. That has to be the aim. That has to be the drive. That has to be the desire to please God. Not things, not performance, but the desire has to be to worship God and to, ser to, to serve him and not man. When the enemy tries to, to fight you in your mind as it relates to value, you better quickly let the enemy know who you belong to. Quickly let the enemy know that you better get behind me. How dare you try to act like you're giving me anything when my daddy owns a cattle on a thousand hills. How dare you try to offer me anything when God is the one that made me. He's the landowner. He's the proprietor. Whatever I need, he knows what I need and he supplies it. I, I dare not compromise for things. I dare not lower my standard for things. I dare not, you know, uh, 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 lose my righteous indignation. And what's pure on my life for things. I'm talking to some of you tonight. That you just, you, you just, you ready to move. Everybody going faster than you. Everybody seems to be success, succeeding. Everybody seems to be thriving. Are you on the wrong thing? Understand who you are. And you will understand that you're precious. You understand that what's on you is dear. You will totally understand I'm not, I'm not one of them. This ain't arrogance. It's knowing who you are. Do you all hear me? You got to get to that place that if the big names, I'm telling you all what I know. That's how I can minister from it. I struggle with that thing. How is it that, you know, I, I, I'm a woman preacher. I know they know who I am. Why I don't ever get called to be on the platforms with them? Why, why, why isn't it? Why does it seem like, you know, I, I'm just kind of like in my own little lane. And the Lord told me because that's how I've willed it for you. You can't get go with them because I got to make sure that what I place on your life is protected. I might get out there to the big stage and lose my mind. So I, 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 let me keep you to yourself. Let me preserve you and, and, and really give you a, a clear vision of who you are and who you're called to. So you won't be looking for it in the wrong places. All right. He placed his, tried to place his value in possessions that didn't work. He tried to place his value in performance. That didn't work. All right, he tries again. Are y'all with me tonight? Huh? I hope so. That's all I can preach to her. Huh? All right, let's go verse 9. Verse 9, because he's going to keep trying. Spirit of ambition to see if he can get, uh, get in there. He got he to know that, that, that you don't give me value. There's nothing... I know who God has called me to. My, my, my joy is complete in him. My value is secure in him. Verse 9. Now he, he, he already. And had an to take him up high. Because some folks, they're moved by, by high places. They're moved by high things they're, they're moved by the big the big things right so he tries to take them there and offer him possessions offer him things now come come into jerusalem 
he brought him to Jerusalem and he set him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him, now you want to bring him to the place of prayer. The enemy is shrewd. He will make stuff look like God and it's not. He will make things look like it's a good opportunity and it's the enemy. It's him setting you up. And again, because you don't understand your value, you will just grab hold to whatever opportunity is given to you. You will walk through doors that 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 you think is going to be there to bless you. And those doors are there to, to zap and to drain the very life out of you. Takes him into Jerusalem, sets him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he says, if thou be the son of God, if you're who you say you are, then go ahead and cast yourself down from here. For it is written, he'll give his angels charge over thee, right? He will, he will get his, he'll give his angels the authority to go and get thee, right? And in their hands, they're going to bear you up lest at any time you get ready to fall or you, uh, uh, you get re at lest at any time that dash thy foot against a stone, lest at any time you fall. And Jesus responded to him another time. He says, it is said, thou shall not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, the Bible says that he departed from him for a, a season. Here it is. Verse what? Verse 9 through 12, the enemy now is trying to base, base his value on popularity and platform. Go ahead and, 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 and show your power. Go, 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 go ahead and, 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 and cast yourself from the pinnacle. Go ahead and get on stage. And, and, and the angels, because you know you are popular with them if you fall the angels gonna come and get you right that's the enemy trying to base his value on platform on power on popularity if you base your value on a platform on how popular you are if you base your value on how powerful you could be i received the seed ryan if you base your value based on how popular you are with man you will be greatly disappointed every time the enemy tried to devalue him he gave him back the word of God because he was already affirmed when his father sent him out when when did Jesus affirm him when he said this is my beloved son this is my son in whom I'm well pleased I'm placing my value I'm placing my stamp on him and so when he goes out, he's going out in my power. When he goes out. Possessions and popularity and performance because my father has already affirmed me. Are you all getting this word tonight? Your father has already affirmed you. Your father has already validated you. Your father has already let you know how necessary you are. Nobody else has to tell you that. God has already told you. God has already showed you. Are you all hearing me? Let me show you all how a person that's valuable and that understands their value. I want you to see how they respond. Jump over now. This is this is my favorite right here. Go to verse 18. 
Go to verse 18. I get stirred up. Go to verse 18. I'm still in Luke 4. After he then got tempted over and over again, and every time the enemy tried to devalue him, he came back to remind him who he was in God. Now, here it is, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I've already been validated. I've already been affirmed. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Just in case... You thought you can a car with a, a, a promotion just in case you thought that I was going to allow you to devalue me. Let me remind you of who I am and let me remind you of who I belong to. And let me remind you of what my purpose is. I'm called to preach the gospel. I'm called to heal the sick. I'm called to minister to women. I'm called to minister to men. I'm called to be a mother. I'm called to be a wife. I'm called to be a business owner. I'm called to be a preacher. I'm called to build women with fashion. I'm called to do hair. I'm called to write books. I'm called to write music. I'm called to lead people into worship. I'm called to be a standard. I'm called to be one. Inspire. I'm talking to somebody. The spirit of the Lord is on me. I got my validation and affirmation. And it's on me to do this. This is where I'm effective. This is where I prosper. This is where fruit is yielded to me. When I step outside of what I'm called to do and I devalue myself, I will struggle. The moment I stop doing this and try to do that, I will struggle. As long as I stay here, I'm going to always be blessed. Thousands will be given to me and placed in my hands. Hey, let's I'm in my purpose and I won't be of uh, devalued by possessions, by things, by popularity, by platforms that are that are, are sanctioned by man and not sanctioned by God. Preach, Siobhan. Your value just went up. Your value just went up. You looking for that, for that, for that job, for that, that email, for them to say you got. Phone call, checking text messages for them to call you back. When you the one that got the goods. You waiting for this man to, 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 to respond to you. After you text. devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Y'all, the Facebook just, just went off. Hold one second. The devil is a liar. I hope I didn't lose the people. I hope I didn't lose the people. Oh, the enemy is so upset. But the word already got out. Glory to God. You waiting for him to call you when God got something better for you. Your value just went up. Your value just went up. Your value just went up. Facebook is shut
have not sown, go so now. Let me pray for you. God, I thank you for these that joined me tonight. God, it was your will for them to hear this word. And despite the complications, God, I thank you that those that were supposed to hear the word, heard the word, and they've received it gladly. I pray, God, that they'll never go back to looking for validation from man, that they won't go back to looking for validation from things, from, um, from opportunities that are not uh, uh, ordained by you, but opportunities that are man-made. I pray, God, that they will walk in a spirit of discernment, that they will be so in a place at oneness with you that they'll know what's of you and what's of the enemy. God, give them a peace and give them a confidence in knowing who they are. The who's who God kill it in us kill it in us that pride kill it in us God for you said that the humble shall be exalted but the proud will be brought low God I thank you that everywhere we're supposed to be we're going to get there because you're going to place us there it's nothing that we have to do all we have to do is continue to place value in who you said we are I thank you, God, for these tonight whose value just went up. And I pray, God, that despite the freezing that's going on tonight, if y'all got to go over to Instagram and get the rest of it, just go over to Instagram. But I declare tonight that your But you will walk in the power and in the authority and in the dominion that God has called you to walk in. The spirit been anointed to do what God has called you to do. I love you all so much. Thank you for sowing seed. Go sow now. I, 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 you need to sow into it. Anytime you sow into me, you will be blessed. I would not miss a moment to sow seed tonight. Whatever God has laid on your heart, go Siobhan, PayPal, I released it gladly. I've done what you said. And now, God, you said that those that labor in the word are worthy, God, of double portion. I thank you, oh God, for those that will sow into what your daughter has released tonight. Bless them, God, for blessing me. I give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I love you all so much. Thank you for sewing. Lady Sellers 2 is my PayPal um, address. Lady Siobhan. I pray that y'all got the word tonight. Your value just went up. Love y'all.